right, so in our last video, we looked at setting up a tracking template within Pro Tools using the East-West Symphonic Orchestra Library. And today we're going to talk about specifically percussion and how to use a layered percussion as well as parallel compression to achieve that bombastic Hollywood sound. So the first thing I'm going to highlight for you are these audio samples, which I have at the top of my session. Um, a couple of them are, are coming from the Vengeance sound library. And uh, Vengeance tends to make uh, sort of EDM dance music type samples. But uh, for this purpose, they actually work really well. So I'll just let you listen to this FX kick by itself. So you can hear it's a kind of a punchy sample with a lot of ambience to it. And then I'm, I'm pairing that with this cymbal swell, um, which came from the East West Play Library, but I actually bounced it to an audio track so that I could center the peak of the waveform at the bar line. So that's why I've got this on an audio track and uh, I'm not you know, playing it with MIDI. So let's listen to these two together. So these are just helping to kind of accentuate the uh, the downbeat of, of this particular uh, section. And then further down the line, I've actually got some sweeps also from the Vengeance sample pack. And they're just helping to add energy um, into the, the transitions of the piece. And then lastly, I have this snare ensemble. And the snare ensemble also came from the um, East-West Play Library. It, uh, it, I chose to bounce it to, a sample, uh, to a, an audio track because, again, I just wanted to be able to line up the waveform with the grid and make sure that you know, the, the snare performance was as tight as possible. So let's listen to the snare ensemble. So between these five samples, you know, we're really not getting the intensity that you heard in, in the entire piece um, from the first video. So where we're, we're really getting into the meat of the percussion is, is through the performance section, MIDI performance section here. And the first sample we have loaded um, from the Storm Drum Library. And again, you know, I've got my five MIDI tracks all being routed into this instance of play, um, different samples one single plugin. Um, but the first track or the first instrument is this rumps sound, which uh, sort of sounds like a swell into a hit. Okay, I've got some ambience. And then I've got this gong. Towards the end, I have a couple of uh, splashy cymbals accenting the sort of two and four of the beat. And then finally, I have these Godzilla hits. So these samples, I think, are, are where the, the really explosive Hollywood sound uh, is coming from. And I'll just play them for you, and then I'll explain how I'm using parallel compression to help accentuate that sound. Okay, so pretty big sounding. Um, now, if I just play the sample by itself without the parallel compression, and uh, I alluded to this in my first video, but basically I've got the play engine um, sending on the software output to these two additional auxiliary tracks because it just was easier for me to mix the Godzilla hits by themselves rather than having them blended in with everything else. Um, but I've got the parallel compression track muted, and if you just listen to the Godzilla hit uh, without that, it's big, but it's not quite as big as, as I wanted it to be. So you can hear the decay is a little bit quicker, and it doesn't have sort of that saturation and almost distorted-like quality that uh, I was looking for. So I'll mute that and we'll just listen to the parallel compression track now by itself.
Okay, so I'll bring up the compressor I'm using, this API compressor, and you can see how much gain reduction we're doing on this particular track. So you can hear how this compressor is squeezing out the ambience of that sample. It's almost adding some distortion and saturation to it as well, which on its own is probably too much. But when it's blended with the original sample, that's where you get, um, you know, just a, a huge sound. So um, the Godzilla hits in this particular arrangement are kind of driving the whole piece. I then have some, you know, pulsing synths further down here. I also have just a sort of distorted drum kit playing. And then I have some timpani uh, towards the end where the, they're, they're playing um, on the root and the fifth of the chord. And then there's a swell at the end to sort of end the piece. So that's how all the percussion is set up. I, I think probably the Godzilla hits are contributing the most to the overall sound. But when you layer all this together, you get something that's pretty enormous sounding. So let's just listen to the percussion by itself. Um, and then I'll just skip ahead here as well so you can hear the snare ensemble. Uh, and then we'll move to the next video. Okay, and just skipping ahead so you can hear the snare ensemble. And you heard at the end there the timpanis and, and the crescendo. So that, um, you know, highlights how to basically layer percussion and use um, parallel compression to achieve a really big sound. So in our next video, we'll go through the string section and we'll talk about um, how I like to uh, play the parts in on a MIDI controller to achieve realism. And then we'll after that talk about brass. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.